Expand your vocabulary with our core 2,000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Japanese ebook before it's gone. Hey guys, Risa here. Welcome to the Ask Risa video series, where you ask questions and I answer them. Let's check out the questions we received this week. Georgie-san からの質問です。Thank you, Georgie-san. How hard do you think it would be for a foreigner to get a job in Japan? 英語を喋る人にとっては、その、英語を教える仕事は結構あるので、仕事を探しはそんなに難しくないと思うんですけども、もし英語のネイティブスピーカーじゃない場合は、そうですね、なんだろうな。もうちょっと、その、もし、あの、英語のネイティブスピーカーじゃなければ、その、英語のネイティブスピーカーよりもちょっと難しいかもしれないですね。でも最近、私、普通に生活しててコンビニとかお店でも外国の店員の方見かけることが多くなってきました。うん、だからどうだろうな。でも結構ビザを取るのは難しいっていう話は聞くので、まあもし日本に来るなら英語か日本語を喋れた方がいいかと思います。ありがとうシャフ・アルカフさんからの質問です。Hi, Risa. I'm Shaf. Hi, Shaf さん。I'm from Malaysia. One, what is the traditional clothing of Japan called? えっと、日本の伝統的な服は着物と言います。着物。Two, what food is popular in Japan? うーん、日本で人気の食べ物。うーん、結構好きな人が多いのは焼肉とか、焼肉、あとカレーあと、天ぷらとか、お寿司も。いろいろありますね。いろいろ。私も天ぷら大好きです。Three. Now I learn about kanji, but I can't read a Japanese language. お、漢字の勉強してるんですか頑張ってください。漢字難しいですよね。もしその、なんだろうな。もうひらがなとカタカナは読めるんでしょうか。それが読めた後に漢字が読めないか。やっぱり、漢字を読むには、その数をこなしてやっていくしかないと思うので、たまに私も、もう何十年も日本に生きてて、たまにこの漢字なんだろうっていうことあるので、だから、シャフさんも少しずつ勉強していけば、いつか、問題なく読める日が来ると思います。頑張りましょう頑張ろうぜいはい。私たちのサイトにもっと勉強できる教材があるので、そちらもチェックしてみてください。あと、あなたがどれくらいリーディングができるかっていうことをテストできるものもあるので、ぜひチェックしてみてください。ありがとうございます。Question from b a n g u s w a r i s a n h e l l o r i s a h e l l o h e l l o r i s a h e l l o i s there any easy way to memorize the on and kun readings and also the stroke order of kanji? Kanji seems to be difficult to learn. Thank you in advance. Thank you. Thank you. 漢字の書き順や音読み、訓読みを勉強するのには、私たちが学校で習ったみたいに小学生のドリルがあるんですね。漢字ドリルっていうのが。それをもし手にすることができたら、それを使いながら勉強するといいと思うんですけど、もし手に入らない場合は、今はもうハイテクノロジーの時代です。インターネットでも書き順は調べられるので、そうやってするといいと思います。書き順通りに漢字を書くと結構字が綺麗に書けるんですよ。私、書き順ぐちゃぐちゃの漢字が結構あるんですけど、それを書き順通りに書いたらうまく書けたりとかしたので、書き順ちゃんと書けた方がいいと思います。ありがとうあと、ラディカルを書けるようになれば、他のパートも書けるようになればもう一文字書けてしまうので、そうですね、いろいろ習得が早くなるんじゃないでしょうか。もしよければ、ラディカルのフリーブックもあるので、クリックで link in the description. ありがとう、質問。Thank you. ジャックさんからの質問です。How do you ask the father of your girlfriend for permission to propose to her in Japanese, please? まあ、こんな経験ないですけど、ポイントは、その、彼女のお父さんに会うとき、ジャックさんの誠実さを見せるのがすごく大切だと思うので、まあ、挨拶しに行く格好はまず、爽やかに、綺麗な格好をして、挨拶は
よくテレビとかで見るのは「娘さんをください!」とか「結婚させてください!」とかそういうのでもいいと思うんですけど現実的に言うとどうなんだろうな。例えば僕は彼女と結婚したいと思っています。お許しいただけますでしょうかでいいんじゃないですかね。ちょっと長いかな。<笑>じゃあ、まあ、簡単にすると、for example, if your girlfriend's name is Kaori, Kaori さんと結婚させていただけませんでしょうかとか、がいいんじゃないですかね。難しいね。緊張する,するでしょうね。きっと挨拶しに行くとき。じゃあ、I'm Jack, Jack さん。Kaori's father. ジョックくん、元気かねはい、元気です。今日少しお話があって参りました。娘さんの香織さんとお付き合いさせていただいて、1年経ちます。僕は香織さんと結婚したいと思っているのですが、お許しいただけますでしょうかうーん。娘を幸せにできるのかねはい、精一杯。そう努めたいと思っております。よし、許すありがとうございますジェイムス・カゼガさんからの質問です。Thank you, ジェイムスさん。Hello, Risa. Hello, James. Will you be collaborating with Ask Japanese or other YouTubers in the future? It was very entertaining. ありがとう。質問ありがとうございます、ジェイムスさん。実は、もう、Ask Japanese のキャティとコラボレーションしました。ビデオも出来上がってるので、よかったら、過去のビデオを見てチェックしてみてください。あと、そうですね。他の YouTuber の人たちともコラボレーションできたら嬉しいかなと思います。Ask Japanese シリーズのビデオでは、原宿の街に出て、日本人や、日本に来ている海外の方にインタビューしたので、見てください。That's all for this episode. Thanks to everyone who submitted their questions. And if you want to ask me a question, just click the link in the video description to submit your question. If you want even more questions answered by me, please support us on Patreon. There, I hold a monthly Q&A for patrons. Okay, stay tuned for more Ask Risa. Bye! そして僕は、かおりさんしかいないと思う。やっぱり結構。<笑>難しいね。<笑> Hi, everybody. My name is Risa. Welcome to the 2000 Core Japanese Words and Phrases video series. Each lesson will help you learn new words, practice, and review what you've learned. Okay, let's get started. First is. Allergy. 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 花粉アレルギー。アラジー to pollen. 花粉アレルギー。登場券。ボーリングパス。登場券。登場券。ボーリングパス。登場券をお願いします。ボーリングパス、プレイス。登場券をお願いします。教育。education。教育。教育。education。教育と訓練。Education and training. 教育と訓練。英語。English. 英語。英語。English. 英語の翻訳。English translation. 英語の翻訳。法律。law. 法律。法律。law. 法律を勉強する。
study law. 法律を勉強する。フルート。フルート。フルート。フルート。フルート。銀のフルート。シルバーフルート。銀のフルート。IT 部門。IT デパートメント。IT 部門。IT 部門。IT デパートメント。IT 部門に電話しなさい。Cold IT Department. IT 部門に電話しなさい。出張。ビジネストリップ。出張。出張。ビジネストリップ。出張に行く。Go on a business trip. 出張。出張に行く。マーケティング。マーケティング。マーケティング。マーケティング。マーケティング。マーケティング部門。マーケティングデパートメント。マーケティング部門。人気がある。ポピュラー。人気がある。人気がある。ポピュラー。人気がある男性。ポピュラーメン。人気がある男性。Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. First, You will hear a word or phrase in English. Respond in Japanese. Then repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say allergy? Allergy. Allergy. And how to say boarding pass? 搭乗券。搭乗券。What about education? 教育。教育。Do you remember how to say English? 英語。英語。Let's try low. 法律。法律。What about flute? フルート。フルート。Now, let's see if you remember how to say IT department. IT 部門。IT 部門。Another one. What about business trip? 出張。出張。Do you remember how to say marketing? マーケティング。マーケティング。And finally, do you remember how to say popular? 人気がある。人気がある。Well done! See you next time. Mata ne! Can learning a new language help you make money? In this video, you'll learn three ways that learning a language can help increase your income. So, if you know a language other than your native language, does it help you earn more money? Learning a new language provides a wide range of benefits, including personal growth, higher cognitive function, better resistance to age related deterioration, and the opportunity to meet exciting new people from all over the world. 
But that's not all. It's possible that learning a foreign language can help you to earn more money throughout your life. Studies have shown that someone making $30,000 annually could boost their salary by at least $600 per year through applying their knowledge of another language. Over the course of a lifetime, that could add up to a significant contribution to your retirement savings or overall earnings. In this video, we're going to talk about how to get free language learning courses and tools that you can use for your studies with the aim of boosting your income. One day, the extra money could possibly help you buy a new Ferrari, vacation home, or save more money for retirement. But first, let's look at a few ways you can make money with a second language. The first method is by exploring bilingual or multilingual job opportunities. With the rise of multinational corporations doing business all around the globe, the need for bilingual or even multilingual employees has never been higher. Therefore, knowing a second language can be extremely valuable. Having a second language as part of your skill set could help you make significantly more money than if you're fluent in just one language. So in a very real way, learning a language online, even for free, can alter your career and earnings trajectory for the better, and it can help put you on the path towards the lifestyle you want. The second method is by exploring work you can do from home in your second language. It's possible to use your knowledge of a second language to work from home. There are many websites that have hundreds of paying translation jobs at any given time. Although the pay may vary significantly between jobs, and you probably won't actually become rich from such work, translation jobs can boost your salary and improve your lifestyle. And translation jobs aren't the only way to make money online from home. There are actually a wide range of opportunities out there for people to boost their income using their knowledge of a second language. These include copywriting, administrative work, and even multilingual IT jobs. The third method is by working overseas. If you love adventure or want to travel the world, you can put your language knowledge to use by taking advantage of bilingual or multilingual opportunities overseas. Put what you've learned to work in the real world. Combine your second language skills with the other skills you have and offer something special to employers. To start, think about a country where you might like to live someday and begin your language studies with the language spoken in that country. With diligent work, you can master a language and secure a position with an overseas company. These are just a few of the ways you can put your knowledge of another language to use and make some extra money with your skills. Over time, this added income can make a huge difference in your life. Our language learning program provides a number of free language learning tools and resources as part of our free lifetime account. You can use these to get started with your language learning and begin working toward boosting your income throughout your life. So, if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds, and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! In this video, you learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Japanese. Hi everybody, my name is Risa. Welcome to the 800 Core Japanese Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Japanese. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in the series, we'll include a previous lesson at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, Stick around and review what you learned in the previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important part of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at JapanesePhoto101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master Japanese. Okay, let's get started. First is... Dekiru Can できる。できる。can。彼は車の運転はできるがあまり上手ではない。He can drive, but not very well. 彼は車の運転はできるが あまり上手ではない。例。ゼロ。例。例。例。
zero. 零点五度 Zero point five degrees. 零点五度一 One. 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 One.
Ten pieces. Juko Salesman. 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 Kuruma no salesman. Car salesman. Kuruma no salesman. Manager. 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 そのマネージャーは生産担当だ。The manager is in charge of production. そのマネージャーは生産担当だ。料理人。cook. 料理人。料理人。Cook. 彼女は四つ星レストランの料理人だ。She is a cook at four star restaurant. 彼女は四つ星レストランの料理人だ。Engineer. Engineer. Engineer. エンジニア。エンジニア。システムエンジニア。システムエンジニア。システムエンジニア。プログラマー。プログラマー。プログラマー。プログラマー。プログラマーがメールを打つ。The programmer types the email. プログラマーがメールを打つ。看護師。nurse。看護師。看護師。nurse。その女性は看護師だ。the woman is a nurse。その女性は看護師だ。体。body。体。体。ボディ。人間の体。ヒューマンボディ。人間の体。頭。ヘッド。頭。頭。head 頭の怪我はとても危ない。head injuries are very dangerous. 頭の怪我はとても危ない。Remember, the goal of this series is to build a vocabulary of the 800 most common words and phrases in Japanese. If that sounds like a lot, don't worry, we can help you. Click the link in the description to access the full list. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources at japanesport101.com. See you next time. Mata ne! Being in planes, trains, and buses can be an uncomfortable experience for many people. 
Often there are small, cramped seats, not many things to do, and sometimes the experience is even scary. Despite this, you often see people working in these environments. How do they do it? In this video, you'll learn three tips to help you be able to study anywhere. The first one is adjust to your environment. Most of us would probably agree that a plane or a bus is not the best place to study. These environments are usually dark and cramped, and you may have a crying baby next to you. But the point is, there's never a perfect time or place to learn. The reality is that a lot of us use transportation every day. We face environments that are typically considered unsuitable for study. Trains get crowded. You can't do much in your car. Even in your own home, you'll get distracted by the TV or Facebook or something. And some days you'll be sick. You'll be tired. You'll have dinner plans. Once you accept that there's rarely such a thing as the perfect time to study, you can start thinking about how to make the best of the environment you have at that time. For example, if you ride a train, you might stand up for a long time. It might be difficult to focus on a book. In a case like this, you can use the Innovative Language 101 app to study, listen to the audio lessons, or do the word of the day by email. There are ways that you can learn in just about any situation. The point is, you need to adjust your study method to your environment. So take a look at your day and see where your time goes. Are there any gaps in between your activities where you feel like you can't study? And is there any way you can adjust? Two, take advantage of your limited time. We've surveyed tons of learners over the years, and every year we find that the number one reason most people don't learn a language is they say they have no time. But there's a chance you may have some spare time to study. You might just not recognize it yet. Let's say you commute for 30 minutes every day. You can ask yourself, how do I put these next 30 minutes to use? Or if you finish work at 7 p.m. and spend an hour doing nothing, you can think about what you might do in that hour that will help you work towards your goals. You don't have to use all 30 minutes of your commute or the full hour of your free time, but you can definitely fit in a short lesson or take other steps towards your goals. Three, have an on and off mindset. When you work, it can be really helpful to have a kind of on-off switch for when it's time to work and time to rest. You can apply the same idea to your language studies. When it's time to study, you can focus solely on that. You don't spend time thinking about doing it, you just do it. It doesn't matter where you are or what kind of studying you're doing, as long as it gets done. And when you're done with a lesson, reward yourself. It can be as simple as telling yourself, great job. When you're finished with the time you promised yourself for studies, feel free to focus on the next thing. In this video, we covered a few tips to help you study no matter where you are or how much time you have. It's all about having the right mindset. And for even more ways to study, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! In this video, you learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Japanese. Hi everybody, my name is Risa. Welcome to the 800 Core Japanese Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Japanese. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in the last series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in the previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important part of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at japanesport101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Japanese. Okay, let's get started. First is... Te Hand Te Hand Migi te Right hand Migi te Ude Arm Ude Ude Arm 
腕の筋肉 arm muscle 腕の筋肉足 foot 足足 foot 左足 left foot 左足足 leg 足足 leg 折れた足 broken leg 折れた足指 finger 指指 finger 五本の指 five fingers 五本の指背中 back 背中背中 back 背中が痛いです。My back hurts. 背中が痛いです。い。stomach. い。い。stomach. いつ。stomach pain 胃痛胸 chest 胸胸 chest 胸のレントゲン x-ray of a chest 胸のレントゲン1月 January 1月 January 2009年1月 January 2009年1月2月 February 2月2月2月 February 2月29日 February 29日 February 29日3月 March 3月三月。March. 三月十七日。March seventeenth. 三月十七日。四月。April. 四月。四月。April もう四月です。It is now April もう四月です。五月 May 五月五月 May 
五月の花 May flowers. 五月の花六月 June. 六月六月 June. 私たちは6月に結婚します。We are getting married in June. 私たちは6月に結婚します。7月 July. 7月7月 July. 7月のバーベキュー。July バーベキュー。7月のバーベキュー。8月。August。8月。8月。August。暑い8月の日。Hot August day. 暑い8月の日9月 September. 9月9月 September. 9月1日 September 1st. 9月1日。10月。October. 10月。10月。October. 10月13日に。On October 13th. 10月13日に。11月。November。11月。11月。November。11月24日、木曜日の感謝祭。Thanksgiving, Thursday, November 24th. 11月24日、木曜日の感謝祭。12月。December. 12月。12月。December. 12月25日。December 25th. 12月25日。Remember, the goal of this series is to build a vocabulary of the 800 most common words and phrases in Japanese. If that sounds like a lot, don't worry, we can help you. Click the link in the description to access the full list. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources at japanesesport101.com. See you next time. Mata ne! Today, traditional classrooms are no longer the only or even best place to learn a new language. More and more people are finding that they can easily learn a language just about anywhere they have a few minutes of spare time, including their daily commute to work. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the average American spends over 50 minutes a day commuting to and from work, or over 300 hours a year. But rather than simply sitting in traffic and wasting the time, you can instead use your daily commute to literally learn a new language in just a few short months. Our language learning program has specialized learning tools that you can use on your commute to and from the office to master a language in your spare time. What are some reasons traditional classroom settings just aren't the best option for most people in today's fast paced world? Difficulty getting to and from class, learning on someone else's schedule. 
very expensive, and may cost thousands of dollars to complete, can take years to finally complete classes and learn the language. The simple truth is the traditional classroom instruction is simply not a viable option for most people in today's very fast-paced, time-starved world. Now, let's examine how you can learn a language faster, more easily, and at far less expense than traditional classes, all during your commute to work and back home again. Three reasons your daily commute can help you master a language in the next year. On average, Americans spend more than 300 hours per year commuting. During the commute to and from work, over six hours a week is completely wasted. The time isn't used to help you reach any goals or objectives. But thanks to online language learning platforms with audiobooks and other resources that you can access during your commute, you can easily transform wasted time into progress toward learning a new language. With over 300 hours available annually, your daily commute could provide you with enough time to gain significant skills in a new language each and every year. Increase your earning potential while commuting to work. How would you like to transform all those spare commuting hours each week into more money for a new car, house, or even a dream vacation? According to research, someone making $30,000 per year can boost their annual income by $600 or more per year by learning a second language. Over the course of a lifetime, that's a significant amount. How? From work-at-home translation jobs to working overseas, there are many ways to leverage your second language into more money in your bank account. So instead of wasting your precious time, you can make your commute more productive and eventually profitable. The more languages you learn, the higher your income potential. Repetition is key to mastering a new language. Not sure if it's practical to learn another language while commuting to and from work each day? Well, not only is it possible, learning in your car on the way to and from work each day can actually help you learn and master any language quickly. The simple truth is that repetition is absolutely vital to truly internalizing and mastering any language. So, if you listen to audiobooks or even audio lessons on your commute to work and then repeat the same lesson on your commute home, the information is more likely to be locked in to your long-term memory. Our language learning program has been helping people learn and master language in the comfort of their home, during their daily commute, or any place they have a few spare minutes of time. Here are five features of our program that make it easy to learn a new language while commuting to and from work. First, the largest collection of audio lessons on the planet by native speaker instructors. Every single week, native speaker instructors create new audio lessons. All lessons are short, to the point, and guaranteed to improve your mastery of a language. Second, the word of the day. Simply exposing yourself to new information and vocabulary terms helps increase your fluency and mastery of your target language. So every single day, check out the word of the day and memorize it during your commute. It's a quick and easy way to boost your vocabulary every day. Third, daily dose mini lessons. Have a short commute to work but still want to make progress towards learning more than just vocabulary? Not a problem. Our daily dose mini lessons are one minute or less and are designed to improve your grammar, conversations, and pronunciation. Fourth, all content is available on a convenient mobile app. You don't need a PC or tablet to learn during your daily commute. Instead, all of our lessons, tools, and resources are available 24-7 via our mobile app. That means you can access all of our audio lessons and other tools during your commute to work or anytime you have a few spare minutes. Fifth, audiobooks and other supplemental resources. In addition to the world's largest online collection of HD audio lessons, our language learning program has audiobooks to enhance your understanding and make it more convenient than ever to learn a language during your commute. The average commute time of most Americans is over 300 hours each year, and it's the perfect opportunity to learn and master a new language. Use the dead time during your daily commute to learn a new language and potentially boost your lifetime earnings. Whatever your motivation, our language learning program has the tools and resources necessary to help you learn a new language each year during your commute to and from work. So, if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye!
Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Minasan, konnichiwa, Arisha desu. Welcome to another whiteboard lesson. In this lesson, we'll learn about the days of the week in Japanese. Please pay attention to how these words are pronounced. Let's start by looking at the vocabulary for this lesson. Okay, let's take a look at the vocabulary for this lesson. Let's go through the days of the week one by one. First, we have Getsuyoubi. 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 This means Monday. You'll see with all of the words of the week in this lesson, they end with yobi. This yobi. Make sure to pronounce the u in yobi. So not yobi, but yobi. Let's look at this word again. Getsuyoubi. Monday. Let's move to the next word now. Kayoubi. 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 This means Tuesday. Kayoubi. Next we have Suiyoubi. 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 This means Wednesday. Suiyoubi. Next is Mokuyoubi. 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 Mokuyoubi means Thursday. Next is Kinyoubi. 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 This means Friday. Note in this one, we have this n sound. So, kinyoubi. Make sure to pronounce this n clearly as well. Kinyoubi. Next is doyoubi. 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 This means Saturday. Be careful with this one. Notice there is no u after the do here. So not douyoubi, but doyoubi. Doyoubi. Saturday. And finally, we have nichiyoubi. 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 This means Sunday. So as you can see, each day of the week ends with this youbi. So you can make sure to practice this pronunciation a lot in this lesson. With these vocabulary words in mind, let's take a look now at the dialogue for this lesson. Okay, now let's take a look at the dialogue for this lesson. So, this dialogue is between two people. The first person asks a question. Which means, what day of the week is it today? So here we have kyo wa, so today. Kyo means today. And wa tells us this is the subject of the sentence. Kyo wa nan yobi desu ka? Maybe you can already see right here this yobi is the same yobi that we saw in all of the vocabulary words for the days of the week in this lesson. Before this, we have nan. Nan. So you might recognize this as what. You might also know the word nani, which also means what. But in this sentence, we have kyo wa nan yobi desu ka? We end it with this desu ka. So ka shows us it's a question. And desu is kind of our to be verb here. So kyo wa nan yobi desu ka? What day of the week is it today? We respond with a pattern like this. Kyo wa suiyobi desu. Kyo wa suiyobi desu. So, today is Wednesday. In red, we have suiyobi, suiyobi, which means Wednesday. We have the same yobi to mark the day of the week here. Suiyobi makes it Wednesday. Again, we end this with des. So, today is Wednesday. Next, let's take a look at some more example responses to the question, kyo wa nan yobi desu ka? And then we'll take a look at a sample pattern that you can use to make your own responses. Okay, let's take a look at some example responses that you can use to answer the question, kyo wa nan yobi desu ka? So, the first example is, kyo wa getsuyoubi desu. Kyo wa getsuyoubi desu. Which means, today is Monday. So, again, in response to the question, what day is it today? Or what day of the week is it today? We have, kyo wa, or today. And then, getsuyoubi, getsuyoubi, which means Monday. And we end it with this or is in this case. So, kyo wa getsuyoubi desu. Today is Monday. Let's take a look at the second example here. Kyo wa doyoubi desu. Kyo wa doyoubi desu. Or today is Saturday. 
So again, we have kyo wa at the beginning of the sentence, so today. And then we follow this with the day of the week vocabulary word. Doyoubi, in this case. Doyoubi. Doyoubi desu. So today is Saturday. Great. So finally, let's take a look next at the sentence pattern that you can use to make your own responses to the question, kyo wa nanyoubi desu ka? Okay, let's take a look at the sentence pattern for this lesson. This sentence pattern is a sentence that you can use to respond to the question, Kyo wa nanyoubi desu ka? So, the pattern is, Kyo wa, and then the day of the week vocabulary word, and finally, des. So, Kyo wa, day of the week, des. This means, today is day of the week. So, you can enter in this part right here, the day of the week, any vocabulary word from the vocabulary section that we talked about earlier. Of course, it should be the day of the week that it is on that day. So, kyo wa day of the week desu. Today is this day of the week. Okay, great. Let's take a look at an interesting cultural point related to the vocabulary words for this lesson. So earlier, when we looked at the vocabulary, we looked at how each word has yobi in it. So this yobi refers to the day of the week. It means day of the week, right? Yobi. Each word has yobi in it. The interesting point here is about the part that comes before yobi in each word. So we have gets, ka, sui, moku, kin. Do and nichi. So yes, these are used with yobi to mark the day of the week, but these sounds that come before yobi also have a connection with astronomical words in Japanese. So they do have this connection to the day of the week, yes, but they also have an interesting connection to astronomy words in Japanese. Also, in more advanced situations, like when you're making plans or you're making schedules, you might hear native speakers dropping the yobi part of the word of the week, and just using the gets, ka, sui, to refer to specific days of the week when they're making very quick plans for their schedule. So this is a very interesting cultural point about these simple vocabulary words. Do you remember how to say today? Kyo. Kyo. And how to say Wednesday? Suiyobi. Suiyobi. Do you remember how to say today is Wednesday? And how to say Monday? Do you remember how to say Tuesday? Kayobi. Kayobi. And how to say Thursday? Mokuyobi. Mokuyobi. Do you remember how to say Friday? Kinyobi. Kinyobi. And how to say Saturday? Doyobi. Doyobi. Do you remember how to say Sunday? Nichiyobi. Nichiyobi. Great! In this lesson, you learned the days of the week in Japanese. Thanks so much for watching! I'm Alicia, and I'll see you again later at JapanesePod101.com. Sore ja, mata ne! 
Expand your vocabulary with our core 2,000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Japanese ebook before it's gone.